Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to lesson number three in the first topic about the great nature of matter. And this is the last lesson in the first topic. After that, we will solve past theta from theta 1, 3, 4, 6. Okay? Now, close a lock at gases. Close a lock at gases. If you heat the gas, what would happen? If you heat the gas, what would happen? What do you think? Of course, the particles of gas state will gain energy. Now I will read the slide. Attention please with the board. If you heat the gas, the particles take in heat energy and move even faster. They hit the walls more often. Or more often, both of them. And with more force, so the gas pressure is increased. Look here. Here, gas particles without it heating, low movement, low temperature. By increase temperature, high movement, and high temperature. The question is why, by increase the temperature of gas particles, the gas pressure will increase, the inlet particles will get energy, will move faster, and will hit the wall of the container. So the pressure will increase. So the pressure will increase. Gas pressure depends on the temperature of the gas and volume it takes up. And gas pressure depends on two factors two factors. Number one, the temperature and the volume. The temperature and the volume. If you have gas at 20 degrees Celsius and another gas at 50 degrees Celsius, which one, which one have a high pressure, of course, at high temperature, we have high pressure. We have a gas inside this container, you can see in the board, and we have another container, like this small. This is A, container A, this is container B. In which container? The gas particles, the gas pressure will be high, of course can be. Why? Because it's small area. Small area. The gas pressure, the gas pressure depends on a temperature. By increasing temperature, the gas pressure will increase. But by decreasing volume, decreasing volume, the gas also gas pressure will increase. When gas is compressed into a smaller space, its pressure increase, its pressure increase. But first of all, we can compress particles which exist in gas state only. Why? You cannot, in thematic doctrine, we compress for particles which exist in solid state the inner particles already touch each other. Particles in solid state like this already touch each other. How can we make compress for it? No way. But in gas state, you can compress the particles because there is a space between particles. Far apart, we said that before. If you have gas particles and gas partic particles, Look to the space between particles. Big space. I can compress it. Compress. Compress. Okay? There is enough of space between particles in gas. You can compress the gas. So the question is, why you can compress the gas state very easily? Because the particles are far apart. 
because there is a big space between partridge so I can compress it. Can compress it. Here I have the air, the air mark use. Look here. I have gas. That's part of this. I can compress it. Compress. Make a force down into the area. Decrease. So the pressure. What do you think about the pressure? Huh? The volume here. Look at the volume here. Volume of the container. But here is the volume. Decrease the volume so pressure will increase. Liquid and solid cannot be compressed. Why? Because their particles are already very close together. Already very close together. Look to the solid state, liquid state. Now look to the gas state. You can see the distance between particles. Welcome back to diffusion. Welcome back to diffusion. We talked before about diffusion. When it involves random movement from area of high concentration to area of low concentration, diffusion depends on the mass of particles and the temperature. The mass of particles and the temperature. Diffusion, imagine in your mind, diffusion like movement of something. For example, you have the duster and you have the cover of the mark. Two different particles, remember, two different particles. Which one will diffuse faster? Which one will diffuse faster? The stuff or the cover of the marker, of course, the stuff will be slow in motion. Huh. Look, it moves faster. Why? Because it's mass low. It can move faster. Please to see. One, the mass of the particles. The lower the mass of its particles, the faster gas will diffuse. The faster gas will diffuse. If you have, this is particle of gas and particles of another gas. Which one will diffuse faster? Of course, these particles. Because its mass lower than the mass of its particles. So it's fat. Here I have experiment. I will show you uh, in video now, but just to see what we have here. Here I have a cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, HCO. HCO. Cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid. At this side of the tube. In second side, second side, we have cotton wool soaked in ammonia solution. Ammonia solution in H3. Okay? HCO is a gas that will produce vapor of HCO gas. In H3, we will produce in H3 gas, vapor from NH3, okay, smoke, like a smoke, you, you will see now in the video. Now, let's to talk about the mass of HCl and the mass of NH3, and we will see which one will diffuse faster. The mass of HCl, from the periodic table, you will find hydrogen 1, 1, chlorine, 17, 35.5. So the mass of HCl will be 1 plus 35.5. 1 plus 35.5 equal 36.5. So this is the mass of HCl. 
In case of ammonia, from the periodic table, you will see N714, hydrogen 11. N714, uh, I will say 14, plus how many hydrogen? 3 times 1. 14 plus 3 equal 3 times 1 is 3. 14 plus 3 equal 70. So the mass of HCl 36.5 and the mass of NH3 is 70. Here I have mass equal 36.5. This example almost in the exams. So attention please. This experiment, we have a lot of questions in your exams about this. HCl, mass of HCl, 36.5. NH3 equal 70. 36.5, 70. What do you think? What do you expect about the motion or the diffusion of NH3 and HCO? Hmm. Mass of HCO 36.5 will NH6 17. Which one will diffuse faster? Of course, of course, NH3 will diffuse faster because its mass lower than the mass of HCl. It's 17, but HCl 36.5, okay? This means, here I have a very small of HCl. It moves slowly because it's a bigger mass, but the small from NH3 will move faster. Look, so they will need to give her here. We need to give her here. Okay? Now, cotton wool soaking ammonia solution is put into one end of a long tube. This is a long tube. Okay? Cotton wool soaking in ammonia solution on the side. It gives off ammonia gas. At the same time, cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid is put into the other end of the tube. It gives off hydrogen chloride gas. And here I have ammonia gas and here HCl gas. What will happen? Look, notice the tube. You can see, you can see the distance, the distance on the side of ammonia. Ammonia move 25.9 centimeter. 25.9 centimeter. But HCl gas move only 2.5 centimeter. Why? Ha. Because the mass of HCl higher than higher than the mass of ammonia. قلنا إحنا إن the mass of HCl was 36.5, لكن the mass of ammonia was 17. So ammonia will move faster. شايف الأمونيا move how many centimeter? 25.5. But HCl only 2.5 centimeter. Okay? So you must understand first. Okay? But in this example, in this example, the uh, ammonia will move, the ammonia smoke, for example, say will move 29.5 cm because its mass 17 only but HCl 
will move two five centimeter only. Why? Because the mass of HCl was 36.5, higher mass. Diagram, read down. Diagram showing the reaction of NHCl and HCl, which form a white ring. A white ring, this is going to be right. A white ring, a bar and NH4Cl. NH4Cl. How? In the head of NH3, from the side of NH3, and from here, HCl will form NH3 plus H and NH4 Cl, ammonium chloride. Okay? Right. What we have in the diffusion process, we see it before. The temperature. The temperature. Where we said in the diffusion process, it depends on number one, the mass. The mass. The lower mass, the lower mass of its particles, the faster gas will diffuse. And the cooling mechanical mass low, the diffusion can faster. But number two, the diffusion depends on number one. Depends on the mass. Number two depends on temperature. Temperature. You can see here in this beaker hot water, but in this beaker cold water. What do you notice here? In which one is diffusion more? Huh? Of course, in the red beaker, diffusion more than the second. Is to read. The higher the temperature, the faster gas will diffuse. When gas is heated, its particles take in heat energy and move faster. They collide with more energy and bounce further away through the gas diffuse faster. Okay? This is about gases. But here, if I have cold and hot beaker, the diffusion in the hot one higher than diffusion in the lower one. Okay. We talked before about heating curve, vice versa. In the opposite direction, we have cooling curve. Cooling curve. Just to see. Uh, if you have a liquid, imagine you have a liquid and pot, the liquid in the refrigerator. Area A to B, cooling from the liquid, we have liquid here only. B to C, beginning of solidification, area B to C, yeah, the liquid start to be a solid, start to be a solid. This is the freezing point, B to C, but at B, sorry, at B, at B point, Beginning of solidification from B to C, from here to there, from B to C, material in form solid and liquid. Here. At point B, the freezing start. From B to C, we have liquid plus solid. Yeah, some liquid or some pieces of ice. At C, so the application ends. All liquid we have turned to be a solid. From C to D, cooling of liquid, so the application is complete. So the application is complete. Here I have solid only, liquid or solid, but here finally I have solid only. Sorry. Here I have liquid before cooling. I have it before me by decreasing the temperature inside the freezer. I have liquid and solid. Finally, I have solid. Piece of ice. Okay? So, this is the third 
ان شاء الله دي تو سي ذا فيوجن اكزامبل اي سيد ذا اكزامبل اي سيد فور ذس فيديو يو كان سي فروم هير You have here in H3 and there HCL. Mr. C, what you notice? Look, you can see the paper of in H3 move faster than the smoke of HCL. Look. In general, I need to say and look the movement of in H3 higher than movement of HCL. Why? Because the mass of H of in H3 lower than the mass of HCL, and we know the lower the mass, the higher the fusion we have. Uh, and the third lesson now is uh, finished. I like to show something. And uh, here. Okay. This is the past paper we have. This is the past paper we have. I like to show it to you. Okay. After that, we will talk about it. Last paper. Oh, this is a question about uh, about heating curve. I'm going to get a little point down. 500 degrees Celsius. I will prepare a slide or listen exactly for this part. Okay, all these are past paper. Inshallah, I will prepare the uh, next video about solving past paper about the first topic, particular nature of matter. Thanks for you.